Inventor contains project files. Any project determines the position of all files related to this particular project. In other words, project files define all files which are included in a particular product and excludes loss of connections between parts, assemblies, and sketches. Let's create a new project. Press Projects and you will see the list of available projects. Click New. If you are using Vault to store all your data, you can choose New Vault Project. If you are working on a separate computer, please choose New Single User Project. Click Next. Specify the name of the project file as Inventor Tutorials and specify the path to the project files folder. Libraries should be left without any changes. Click Finish and a new project is created for you. Let's create a new part. When you create a part, it is created in the current project in the specified folder. We will make this part parametric which means that management of the part sizes will be carried by parameters. On the Manage tab, choose Parameters. Here you see all the parameters of the model along with user-specified parameters. Let us add user numeric parameters. Name our first parameter L1. In the Equation column, enter 200 and in Comment field, type in Line 1. Create one more parameter, L2. Equation is 300. Comment is Line 2. The third parameter should have a name, H1. Equation is 10. In comment, type in height. Next, create a parameter D1. Equation is 8. Comment is diameter. One more parameter, LD1. Equation 15, comment is 2 whole 1. And the last parameter is LD2. Equation is 20, comment is 2 whole 2. Close the parameter window. Let's draw a rectangle in our sketch. With the help of horizontal and vertical constraints, align it to the origin. For distance of horizontal line input, L1. For distance of the vertical line, input L2. Now the sides correspond to the entered parameters L1 and L2. Finish sketch. Change the name of the part to Parametric and save it.
Choose the extrude tool. For the distance, enter H1. Click OK. The sketch is now extruded for the distance equal to H1, as specified in the parameters. On the front side of the part, we create a sketch. Place four dots, which will define the centers of the holes. Mutually align all the holes with the help of horizontal and vertical constraints. Define the dimension from the point to the rib equal to LD1. The second dimension is the same as the first one. Dimension from the side rib is LD2. The last size is the same. Finish sketch. Next, select the hole operation. The holes are located on the points of the sketch. Select the termination through all. As a diameter, specify the D1 parameter. Click OK and see that a hole has been created with a diameter of 8 millimeters. With the help of distance measurement, you can ensure that the sizes of the parts are equal to the entered parameters. If you go to Manage Parameters, you can see that besides user parameters, there are also model parameters, which are designed separate user-defined parameters. Let's make the part parametric, i.e. specify different sizes for different versions of the same part. On the tab Manage, find Author, and then select Create I part. In the resulting window, you can see the row for the first version, which already contains user parameters. Here, you can add other parameters or delete any unnecessary ones. Let us create one more version of this part. To do this, right click on the row number and choose Insert Row. Now we have the second row with the same parameters, but now they can be edited. Input L1 equal to 250. L2 equal to 250. H1 equal to 15. D1 equal to 12. LD1 equal to 25. And LD2 equal to 25. Insert one more row for the third version. This time input L1. This time input L1 equal to 300, L2 equal to 450, H1 equal to 20, D1 equal to 15, LD1 equal to 40, and LD2 equal to 30. Click OK. Now you will see that in the browser area the icon for this part has changed to the icon for parametric parts 
and now it has the versions table. Open Inventor Properties and on the tab Physical specify the material Steel Carbon. Now we can find out the mass of the part. Double click to choose the second version. If you open the I properties, you can see the results for mass calculation. Select the third version to ensure that the mass for this part has also changed. Save the part.